Welcome to my first YouTube video. I finally got this camera working. Welcome to Paris. I am here on a solo trip for the next four full days. I arrived yesterday late afternoon, so this is my first full day here, and I am gonna take you around with me. Just been down for breakfast. Had three pan of chocolat and two croissants with Nutella. I've just got changed because I'm off to a photo shoot now. I'm bringing my Sensi Studio bag. And we are off. I'm just walking to the metro station. Oh my gosh, it's so bright. I took a detour through some shady streets to the metro station because I do not like bright sunlight. I bought a five day travel ticket and I'm just waiting here for my train. It is coming in two minutes. The photo shoot was so fun. This is one of the locations we shot at. I had a really quiet rest of the day. Fast forward to this evening. This is the restaurant I ate at and the pizza was so nice. Good morning everyone. I am so tired this morning, I don't know why because I slept really well, but I've just been down for breakfast. I'm exceptionally glowy because I'm wearing the Supergoo Glow Screen, it's SPF 30. I usually wear it under my makeup, but I think I'm going to go makeup free today. I don't have many plans today, but I am going to go read in the gardens right in my hotel for a bit, and then I'm going to go to Eglise Saint-Sulpice, which is a really beautiful church. I remember going a few years ago and thinking it was absolutely stunning, so I'm going to go there again because it's very near the hotel. And then I am going to go to a pottery shop. I think it's like a flagship store of handmade pottery, so I'm going to go there because I love a bit of handmade pottery. I'm determined to be a better vlogger today, so let's go. The park itself is huge, but I love this particular area. It's just so nice and peaceful. Found a nice shady spot. And I've got my Kindle with me. I'm reading The Idiot by Dostoevsky at the moment. Absolutely love him. He has got me through many a dark day. So let's read for a bit. I read for about half an hour. It's very peaceful. And right at the end of the street, you can see Eglise Saint-Sulpice kept on stopping to look at pretty doors but eventually made it inside. This is the church. It's so beautiful. It's the second largest church in Paris, Notre Dame being the first, and that's still closed at the moment following the fire in 2019. Construction started in the 17th century and it took 224 years to build. Another fun fact is that it was featured in the Da Vinci Code but the crew never got permission to film inside so they made a giant replica for the film instead. Even though I'm not personally religious, my mum is Catholic, so every time I go into a Catholic church when I'm abroad, I always light a candle for her. We're introverts, so I like to symbolically put the candle in the corner, away from the other candles. It's what she would want. I thought this particular area was so beautiful with all of the designs on the candles. I stayed here for a little while to admire it all. And then when I got outside, I spotted a pigeon sitting down. Bird sitting down is one of my favourite things ever. Hello! Then I went to the Marie Dege flagship store. This is one of the only maisons to still produce fine porcelain tableware that's 100% freehand painted. And there were so many things I wanted, so beautiful. I ended up buying this pink and gold cup, which I am obsessed with, and it was wrapped so beautifully. By this time I was starving and pining for something to eat, admiring the beautiful pastries, so I went to Acai and Yu. The green juice tasted slightly questionable, but the Acai bowl was so nice. And then I had a leisurely stroll over to Notre Dame. As I mentioned earlier, it's still under reconstruction, so it's currently closed, but the crypts underneath it are open. It's actually quite small, but I spent such a long time here. I thought it was so interesting. My favorite part was the old Roman bathhouse. A lot of the infrastructure was still intact, so like the walls between the cloakroom and the steam room and the cold room, etc. I love imagining how it would have been in those times, and there was lots of really interesting information up on the walls as well. Definitely recommend if this is your sort of thing. It was a long day, so I was intending to go home at this point, but then I walked past this macaroon stand. Look how many there are. Of course I had to buy some. They were delicious. Hello everyone. I am very sweaty and shiny. I've balanced you on some books, so hopefully you won't fall over. Um, but I went to Sephora and I'm gonna do a little unboxing, unbagging with you guys. So it came to 129 euros 49 altogether and I'll tell you the price of each individual item as I go through. First item is the Sephora Collection Cherry Blossom Bubble Bath and Shower Gel. And I only bought this really because my hotel does not come with shower gel. So I've just been using the hand soap and now I actually have shower gel. This was 6 dollars Next item I got is this. This is the Beauty Blender Besties set. It comes with a sponge, I needed a new Beauty Blender anyway, a tool cleansing silicone scrub mat, and this little 
bag that you can put it in. I always find when I'm traveling that my beauty blender kind of just gets like squished into my makeup bag, which isn't very hygienic. So yeah, bought this and that was 18.50. Next up is just a repurchase. This is the NARS Pure Radiance Tinted Moisturizer in the shade Tech Nerve, which I believe is their lightest shade, um, but I tend to use this every day and I'm running out, so bought some more. This was 45 euros. Here's the next item. This caught my eye on display. It's the OP Nature Strong Natural Origin Lacquer in the shade Knowledge is Flower. It was 19 euros, which I think is quite expensive. Is OP this expensive back home? I don't know. And saving the best till last, I got these. These are the new Rare Beauty Kind Words Lip Pencil and Matte Lipsticks, both in the shade Lively. So I will film a TikTok of me testing these out. The lip liner was 17 euros and the lipstick was 23 euros, so 40 euros altogether for a little set. That is all that I bought and yeah, I will see you in a bit. Good morning everyone, it's my third full day in Paris and I thought I'd just show you quickly because I'm about to film a TikTok what my setup looks like. Here is my TikTok filming setup. I got this tripod from Amazon. The camera is the Canon 6D Mark II and I use a 50mm lens. And here's my viewfinder. Sometimes people will comment saying, why are you looking up in your TikToks? It's because I use the viewfinder here and I haven't quite got the setup sorted yet to make it actually look like I'm looking into the camera. So yeah, there it is. Oh, and I don't use ring lights or anything. I use natural light to film and I'll just draw the curtains if the sun's too bright. I also wanted to quickly show you how I plan for a solo trip. This is what I would do for a very short haul trip. Paris is so near to London, so it doesn't require much planning. Also, I've been to Paris quite a few times. Is it focusing? But I will note down, um, so any transfers that I've booked, so taxi to St Pancras, taxi to La Villa Madame, which is the hotel I'm staying at, to and from Eurostar, the hotel I'm staying at with the address, um, the check-in and the check-out times, and then I'll just list out the different places that I want to go to, and I'll include, you can see here, um, how long it takes to get there, either on foot or using the metro. I don't plan necessarily what I'll do on every day. If I book something specifically, I'll note it down, but just generally speaking, I'll just have a list of things, and then I'll just choose what I want to do on the day. I'm in the mood for a bit of shopping today, so I think I'm going to go to Le Bon Marché, which is a big shopping centre that's quite nearby. I think it's like a 10 minute walk from the hotel. So I will bring you along and show you around. It's really beautiful. The lighting's not very good in here, but I am off out. This is the outfit of the day. This dress is from Zara. Bag is Chloe, belt is Mango. I would do anything for this bag, apart from pay for it. <laughs> And now we're in the beauty section of Le Bon Marché. This is my favourite part. These Tom Ford candles look so beautiful, but they smelled awful. Then I went up to the first floor and this is the view of the beauty area from there. I specifically wanted to buy a really light summery perfume and I know that Diptyque is over here. Diptyque is my favourite candle and perfume brand in the world. I think their scents are so beautiful. And I love how many of their products are available here. It took me approximately 17 years to decide which perfume I wanted. I think the sales assistant actually wanted to murder me by the time I'd finished. But there was just so much available. Look at all of these candles as well. Lots of smelling later, I chose the Neroli perfume. Purchase secured. On my way out, I saw a new version of my Chloe basket bag. I love it. Then I went to Dejo, which is my favourite shop in the entire world. It's a taxidermy shop, but you're not allowed to film in there. And this flower shop was next door. I bought some dried flowers. Then I went to Apego for lunch. It was absolutely delicious. The coffee was so nice as well. And I know it's a little bit weird to unbox something like this on my lap in a restaurant, but I did buy something from Dejo. This little turtle. How sweet is he? I'm obsessed. Then I went to the Musée d'Orsay. I started with the Gaudi exhibition. I didn't absolutely love it. I did like some of these sculptures here and some of the watercolor architectural designs were really beautiful. But I left quite quickly and went to see some of the classics. Uh, so Starry Night, of course, Van Gogh's self-portrait. And then my personal favorite of his paintings, which is the church at Auvers. Then I came across this absolutely beautiful confectionery shop. It's called A la Mer de Famille. I spent so long just looking at everything and admiring it. Absolutely beautiful. I did buy a couple of boxes of chocolates as well. I was also very tempted by this chocolate counter, but I resisted the urge and just stuck with my two boxes of chocolates. One for me and one for my work colleagues. Just sat down on a ledge for a bit because I am 
a sweaty mess. I found so many beautiful shops today. Um, I went to the Musée d'Orsay as well and I filmed a bit of that. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna head back to the hotel now, edit a TikTok, post that, and then we'll go out for dinner. I stopped at the Maison du Mochi on my way home. I got this pistachio mochi, here I am squishing it. And these are the chocolates I bought for myself. I ate these before dinner, beautiful as expected. Good morning everyone, this is my last day in Paris. I got up at 6am to take some pictures between about 6.45 and 7.30. I've noticed it's really quiet around the area that my hotel's in. So I went down a side street and found some really beautiful doors to shoot some pictures against. I'm tired. But it was worth it because I think I got some really, really nice pictures. So I'm going to go down for breakfast soon. Already got my makeup on as you can tell, um, but I still need to shower and stuff. And yeah, I will see you guys in a bit. Oh, and I'll remember today to take you guys down to breakfast with me. And here is breakfast. I didn't eat the baguette, but I did have the four croissants and then the three little pots of Nutella. I had this every day, best breakfast ever, and of course the cappuccino. Then I went to the Eiffel Tower for a bit and read in the shade under one of the trees. And a little bit later on, I went to the Champs-Élysées. This is the Galleries Lafayette. I really love their beauty area as well. It's so well stocked and there is loads of different perfume brands. The layout of the store is just really nice as well, so yeah. Good morning everyone, I am leaving Paris today. I need to check out of my hotel at midday and it's currently 10.30 so I need to get back. Oh, and I went to the Champs-Élysées last night and I bought a few things so I will show you them now. Right, first item, I went into the Galleries Lafayette and I found this perfume, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, um, I think it's Granado Farmacias and I'm not sure again how to pronounce this but I think it's Bohemia. Um, but I smelt the sample of this and was like, oh my gosh, I have to buy this immediately. Um, it was 115 euros and it's quite a big bottle, which is cool. I'll unbox it in a second and show you the packaging. Then I went into Sephora. I only bought a couple of items, but I've been meaning to try this uh, Laneige lip sleeping mask for ages. So I bought this, I think this was 23 euros. And the last item I bought is this Sunshine SPF 30 Skin Tint by Milk Makeup. I bought it in the shade Fair, which is the lighter shade, and I'll do a video trying it soon. Here's my suitcase. Here is my hand luggage, if you will, for the Eurostar. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure how I'm gonna take these back. Hopefully I can just have them poking out of my bag. I've got my camera equipment, my sunglasses, and then my handbag that I'm gonna put in here. And yeah. My Eurostar isn't until about 3.15, so I want to get there at about two because I love to be early. I cannot be dealing with travel stress. I need a leisurely journey to the train station. I need to leisurely check in process, all of that stuff. So yeah, I'll aim to be about an hour and 15 minutes early. They recommend that you're no later than 45 minutes early for your train. Um, I need to check out, pay my hotel bill, uh, book a taxi with the hotel concierge downstairs and we will luncheon in, what time is it now? It's 11.45 now so I think at 12 I'll go down check out and then have lunch for a long time, then come back here, collect my suitcase and then we will head off back to London. I had the ex Benedict at Mademoiselle Angelina. I went here a few times because it was really near my hotel and so nice broke my fan because I was flapping it around so much in the heat. Then after going back to the hotel and collecting my luggage, I got a taxi to Gare du Nord. This was my first solo trip since I got out of hospital and I'd rescheduled it a couple of times. I was quite nervous, but I'm so glad I actually did it. I had a really nice time. I'll link as many of the places I went to and the items I showed you as I can in the description box. And I hope my editing will get better in time. Sorry, I know this isn't the best video in the world. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.